Bay here at Bridgeport, Connecticut. New York wins the opening faceoff, and Micah Zandy Hart will try to chip it in as Minnesota now collects. Taylor Heisey trying to send it up the ice. Lee Steckline on the ice as we highlighted her prowess earlier in the open. I would say New York is probably going to come out on fire early. With that fatigue factor that's been talked about, you can steal a little momentum early and see how sharp Minnesota comes in on a back-to-back. -back. Minnesota wins the draw in the D zone. Clary sends it up ahead. Here's Kelly Panic streaking down the near side. Panic gets it back along the boards, looking for a lane. Has Coin Schofield with her. The captain. Up high to Flaherty. Flaherty fan on the shot. It's taken away by Chloe O'Rard, and here she is on the breakaway. Shoots off the post. What a start for New York. What a great read by O'Rard. Saw that space was limiting near the blue line. Defender didn't have a whole lot of room to go. And she got aggressive attacking a trigger and almost stole herself a goal. Fellman sends it in. Kayla Vespa tries to feed Emma Woods. Nice stick by Minnesota. Tapani. Fighting along the boards with Wood. Kayla Vespa collects and sends it back to the point. Here's Feldman with a shot just wide. Another chance sealed off nicely by Hensley. You know, when you watch New York, you watch 10 in dark. Vespa, when she's on the ice, a lot happens. She might be a little undersized, but it's one of those size of the fight and the dog kind of things, and she is competitive. Works great, good skill, and an exciting player to watch. Greco with a drop pass here. It's Michaela Cabo with a shot on net and a pass save for Levy. <laughs> Furious pace to start these first few minutes. Good chances for both sides so far in the early going. Held in nicely by Minnesota. That shot deflected wide. Here's Ella Shelton. Surveying the landscape for New York. Pace in these games has been good because the depth of the teams is there. And that's one of the things that the players have talked about through all the teams is lineups are so deep that every line can push the pace. Minnesota takes it away and a great job by Savannah Norcross to get it back for New York. Now Norcross chips it ahead. Hensley out to play the puck. Cut off by Madison Packer, but it comes out. Back to Packer. Battle along the boards, and Buderak will chip it out for Minnesota. A newish defense pair for New York as Zafudo was playing with Baker earlier. Yeah, Zafudo not in the lineup today. Again, Howie Draper choosing to just dress the 6D. She can hit a ton. In that last Minnesota game, she almost killed somebody. I mean, what a, it was a legal hit, but what a great Crease clearing hit in front of the net. Zumwinkle for Heisey. Back to Zumwinkle with a shot. Gloved in, saved by Levy. We're earlier on the game. New York gets the first good chance of the game with a little bit of a whip by Flattery, but it was a great read by Arard to not only get the shot lane, but attack the stick real quick. And Positioning by Rooney was great. Puck was off the post, but I love the read. I love the aggressive read at the, at the offensive blue line. Oh, a chance for Heisey. Good stick by New York. They get it back as Zumwinkle circles. Zumwinkle. Driving and try the short side. Turned aside by Levy. Jamie Bourbonnet collects for New York, and she'll tip it out to the neutral zone. Melissa Channel trying to feed it in for Minnesota. Turns it over and Peyton Levis flips it in. If you're a defender in this league, playing with Jamie Bourbonnet is a treat. She, she is, she totally understands how to play off of her partner, especially in the defensive zone. Here's Coyne Schofield, tries to make a move. Short side shot and it's saved by Levy. Minnesota came to play early. A great chance once again. Abby Boreen couldn't. Catch up to the pass from Coyne Schofield. Now a drive from the point, just wide. Back to Coyne Schofield. Former captain of Team USA out there, now captaining Team PWHL Minnesota. She was actually skating with the under-18 team with the National Team Development Program, getting ready for this when, uh, right before the World Junior Camp started in Plymouth. Mom of Drew, who she gave birth to in just July. Mom's doing it all out there. Lengthy battle along the boards for both sides. Abby Boreen playing in her third 
PWHL game, and it's Abby Rock who comes away with the puck. Aaron pass, picked off by Marine. Tried to defeat it across to Tapani, and it's taken away by New York. Michaela Kava with room. Tried to feed it to Tapani. And here comes New York. Emma Woods, Jade Downey Landry with her. And they're in offside. And we've got Jade Downey Landry down without a stick. She'll head to the bench. On comes some fresh legs. Minnesota will clear the zone. Howie Draper again going back to that defense first mentality. New York doing a nice job in that area. Here's Alice Carpenter feeds it back for Bourbon eight. And a nice paddle save there. Both goalies have looked sharp so far. The one thing to keep an eye on, both goalies have kicked out some rebounds too. And we'll see where the adjustments start to get made on crowding in the crease. Here's Eldridge. Back to Hobson. Hobson down low for Levis. Eldridge gets it back. Tried the centering pass for Carpenter, and now Carpenter will feed it down low as Levis gets upended. Ella Shelton trying to dig it out along the boards for New York. Shelton comes away with it, but only momentarily as Minnesota able to clear it up ice. But it's gonna go for an icing, and we'll come back to the other zone. Control the dot. Start with possession, like here. Good face-off win for New York. Now for the point, Jaguar looking for a tip, and Hensley hangs on. It's important to them to come back after a long road trip and get a good home win. Any win's a good win, right? That's but, true. But you want to establish home ice and start building a following. It was a good crowd at UBS the other night, and another good one here today. Zandy Hart on the ice right now. Looks like they're already mixing up deep pairs with Shelton and Zandy Hart now pairing off. Hey, just another really good example. Howie Carpenter talking, or Howie Draper talking about how the defense core is getting better in team defense. Look how well they're layered here. Look how well they're taking away the middle and forcing Minnesota to use the space outside the dot lanes, trying to get into quick transition. Draper saying to us earlier this week, we're not taking huge leaps defensively, but it's coming. Abby Rock tried to center there as Hensley paddles it aside. Then again, who takes huge leaps defensively, right? I mean, that is a, <laughs> as we know, that's a step-by-step -step process. Look at Coyne Schofield streaking down the ice, gets taken out, no call. And Abby Rock chips it out. That's the physicality we're seeing on a nightly basis in this league. Tremendous play by Hobson, and then she joins the rush as well. Here's Emma Woods on the forecheck. Battling for it, gets taken down. Jade Downey Landry delivers a hit. And here she is right in front. Shot it off her backhand, but just wide. Now a chance for Vespa. New York buzzing here on this shift. Point Schofield is in alone. Tried the shot and it was defended nicely by Bourbonnet. Feldman gets it back for New York. Cut off as Tappany looks for it. Now Tappany tried the reverse and Cunning looked for a centering pass, defended nicely by Vespa. Cunning back to the point for Steckline. Steckline's shot goes off the skate of Norcross, it looked like. Important always to close the gap on Steckline when she shoots. She's so good at getting in. And here comes Coyne Schofield in. Look at Hobson. First sets up with a stick. Coyne Schofield goes in towards the middle, and Hobson just stays right with her. Great gap, nice and tight. And as soon as the lateral ability of Schofield shows up, Hobson's there to meet her. Tapani wins the draw. Kava sends it across. Natalie Bookbinder sends it down low for Tapani. And New York takes it away once more. More cross. Over to LaBelle. Now Baker streaking down the side. Step line plays it off the glass for Kava. Keep your eye on 77 White who's got Here the Here she is. Threat every time she's on. Susanna Tapani sends it over to Cunning. And again, good defense by New York. Here's Norcross. Has LaBelle with her. Tried the shot that went wide off deflection. Now a centering pass, Bourbonnet from the top of the slot, and that deflects up and into the netting. 
You could hear Bourbonnet calling for that puck all the way up here. She dropped in late, <laughs> saved some ice. It was really good work by New York down low to win a couple battles, win a race. And when she gets the puck, look where she is. So that's called saving ice. She's not too deep. She came in on a late, deep dive, but she saved enough room that when she got the puck, she had room to deliver it. Carpenter wins the draw back for New York. Alex Carpenter's three-game point streak snapped yesterday, Friday rather, in a shutout loss to Toronto. That top line has been just about everything for this New York squad so far in the early going. That puck deflects up and over the glass and player goes down hard for New York. Looks like everybody's okay. Carpenter wins another draw. Bourbonnet sends it around the net. Jesse Eldridge catching up to it. Eldridge tried to feed the point and said it's taken away by Zumwinkle. Zumwinkle, by the way, tied for second most points in the league right now with Alex Carpenter. Both players on the ice here, one-on-one. -on -one. Zumwinkle and Carpenter, two of the stars of this league. Now Bourbonnet from the high slot. Taken down along the boards, and Heisey comes away with it. First overall pick in the PWHL draft. Centers the pass, and it goes wide. It's going to be an expensive day here with Sticks. <laughs> exactly, Heisey. Tried another centering pass, and it deflects up into the netting. Ken, you talked about the back-to-back -back games earlier, the physicality of the league. How do you feel the pace of the game has been for your team on the second of the back-to-back? Uh, it's been pretty good. I mean, obviously they they've got a lot of jump. They're uh, you know they got some jump in their game, but I know it's gonna be some back and forth chances. So we just gotta weather the storm a little bit and uh, get our legs under us. And we know that after a long bus ride last night, it's tough. So, but uh, I'm really I'm glad with how we're playing so far. The number one thing of any team is being able to instill good winning habits, good details to build upon the building blocks later on. Ken Clee came in in a rush to uh, coach this Minnesota team. Started just a week before their season did. Charlie Burgraff, the initial coach, and for personal reasons, decided to step away. So it's the 14-year NHL veteran Ken Klee coming in to coach this Minnesota squad. He's also coached Team USA's women's team to World Championship gold in both 2015 and 16. So no stranger to the women's game. And the funniest thing is, he's got the highest percentage in NHL history of game-winning goals to goals scored. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good for a defenseman. Trivia question of the day by Dave Starman. Here's Kelly Panic trying the short side of her backhand and a great save by Levy. Heads up. Yep, 13 of his 55 in the NHL for game winners. That's pretty good. And a good chance here for Minnesota as they cycle the puck down low well. And then it got a little bit of a reverse cycle, and Levy real good holding on to that one. She's getting down a couple, and that one held nice and tight with pressure coming in. Chipped off the glass by Hobson and out to the neutral zone, and here's Emma Woods feeding it back for Hobson. Minnesota collecting Emma Greco from her own zone, trying to connect with Coin Schofield, and it goes all the way back into the New York zone. French pass for Emma Woods, who plays it ahead for Vespa, gets it back, makes a move. Tried to go down low, but nobody home. Here's Abby Cook. Feldman fanned on a pass. And Kelly Panic takes advantage, sending it deep for Minnesota. There's nothing worse than throwing a pass and looking up and not seeing the puck moving. <laughs> Turnover here, and Cunning had a chance, but it was sorted nicely by New York. Back comes Minnesota to Pani. Norcross cutting her off, and Zandi Hart will collect. Back and forth they go on a Sunday afternoon. New York suffering a shutout loss in Toronto on Friday. And Minnesota with an overtime loss just yesterday in Boston. Ken Klee loved their game. He's, he said to me, he goes, it sounds strange. I'd rather lose and play the right way than win and get lucky. Look at Madison Packer with a shot that goes just wide. Because those are the things that you need for later on. Big hit. But if you develop 
Those good habits early, even if you lose a game and you're playing the right way, it manifests later on when it matters a little bit more. LaBelle trying to send it for Packer. Nobody home there. And Norcross, as you mentioned, takes a shot short side. Looks like she's okay. She took that big hit earlier. Back into the New York zone comes the puck. Icing waved off. Kava trying to send it for Heisey. Ella Shelton says no. Some fresh legs on the ice for both sides. Zumwinkle to Heisey. Puck comes out as Steckline was unable to hold. And now Alex Carpenter feeds it to Jesse Eldridge. Eldridge, your leading goal scorer for New York. And Hensley wisely decides to hang on. More physical activity as the pace of the game continues to move and the physical play continues to happen. Take a look at the bottom of your screen Ooh. as Norcross gets leveled by That's Flaherty. Flaherty is one tough customer and she's been really good in the games we've watched. Shot from the point blocked. Bourbonnet will collect in her own zone. Spins off Krasova. So those, Minis so those Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs like Flaherty bring a little bit of the heat. Plenty of the Bulldogs in this game. Minnesota went with a hometown feel for its roster. 11 Minnesota natives on that roster. Bourbonnet tried the short side, hits the net, and comes out to Zumwinkle. It's the state of hockey for a reason, right? As a proud Minnesota native myself, I, I will that. fully agree with you, Dave. Yeah, I put that one on a plate for you, didn't I? <laughs> The state celebrating Hockey Day Minnesota just yesterday. For those of you watching from the great states, welcome. Happy belated Hockey Day. Minnesota wins the draw. Back for Flaherty who sends it in. Abby Levy passes it over to the captain Micah Zandi Hart playing in her first home game for New York after starting the season injured. Here's Taylor Baker sending it over to Orard. Orard looking for Elaine Baker joining the rush. Sorted out by Minnesota. Now played ahead. Zandi Hart has it stripped. It's Budarak centering pass. Just fanned on the shot. Liz Shepard's had a good look, and now she's slow to get up after taking the hit. Huge play by Baker just to make that pass, a bad pass going across the crease. Here's Abby Rock, just wide. Great chances so far, and a scoreless first. Kendall Coyne Schofield in with speed, tried to center. Kelly Panic while going down, tried to get off the shot and could not. Here's Coyne Schofield circling. Now Cook with a shot and she scores! Abby Cook with her first point of the season, let alone goal. Strikes first for Minnesota. This is a result of really good transition by Minnesota. They move the puck up ice and look at the amount of time that Cook has and that screen developed real late in front of Levy on its way to the net. A good little Dipsy Doodle pass up at the blue line. And all you do is lay into it and hope maybe you're shooting for a screen, a tip of deflection. And you can see that Levy tracked it late and Minnesota with a 1-0 lead. Lee Steckline now carrying in for Minnesota. You talk about the Minnesota natives, there's one from Bloomington scoring for her home team. Steckline, also a Minnesota native, had that shot blocked by Eldridge. Peyton Levis flips it ahead. It's Eldridge in all alone. Takes the shot and it's sealed off. Good job by Lee Steckline catching up to the play. And Coyne Schofield now in with speed. Her shot just wide. Now a battle along the boards as Susanna Tapani tries to take it away. Instead, it's New York and Abby Carpenter. Tapani on the back check, though. With a nice effort, and now Eldridge with the shot. Fought off by Hensley. Tapani has... Right in front! What a chance for Downey Landry, and somehow the puck stayed out. That happened kind of quick. Wow. I was going to say, Tapani, who is, has shown 
being a really good 200 foot player on that track back. And Minnesota dodges a bullet. Dangerous turnover right in front of the Minnesota net. Back comes Downey Landry, fresh off a hat trick just a few days ago. Her shot blocked, still loose in the slot. And we get a whistle. We're going to get a hook on Minnesota with a couple of real good plays. First by New York on a nice chip pass. This is a harder save than it looks. And this is where structure comes in handy because Hensley was down, had the wickets closed, and then you see that little quick bounce out in front on that second opportunity for Downey Landry. But really good stop by Hensley. She was structured, she was down, wickets were closed, stick was in good position, and she was expecting a fastball. She got a knuckleball and fought it off. Carpenter wins the draw back to Shelton. And Jamie Bourbonnet back to Shelton. Shelton takes the shot. It was blocked on the way. Now Shelton going cross ice. Abby Rock looking for a lane. Rock down low for Carpenter. Carpenter back to Rock. Held in by Bourbonnet. They're going to say, I think they're going to say it came out. Yeah. Yeah, this power play. Four for 19 on the season, clicking at just over 21%. Howie Draper saying they don't work a ton on that because they have so many offensive weapons. He'd like to work more on the PK and defense. Here's Bourbonnet as the crowd cheers its team on. Ella Shelton, skate to stick, back to the point for Bourbonnet. They trade spots. Carpenter. Now trading with Bourbonnet. Lots of movement on this power play for New York as Shelton takes a drive that was blocked by her teammate. Now remember, folks, in this league, you score shorthand and the penalty's over. They're calling it the jailbreak. And we've seen a couple so far in the early going of this season. Here's Jesse Eldridge. Nice pass across the rock, and she just sent it over the cage. She looks skyward. Really good pursuit by New York. And Abby Rock, you, you, she's got a coach's kid mentality. She always knows how to get open. Always knows where to find a soft spot there. She did. She got a pass in her skates and didn't miss by much. But Eldridge with a sweet pass across. And you can see Carpenter going to the front of the net. Abby Rock, the daughter of a Toronto Maple Leaf scout. He's got my old job, actually. OK. <laughs> Touchy subject. No, 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 no. <laughs> Zandy Hart. Tried the shot. Emma Woods fighting for possession along the boards. Back to the point for Zandi Hart. Time winding down on the New York power play as Hobson will feed the point once more. Zandi Hart with a drive that goes off the glass. And Minnesota with what might be one final clear. They get it on net and Levy hands it across. Back to full strength for Minnesota in the final minute of this first period. Minnesota striking first, thanks to Abby Cook. That shot on net, and Hensley decides to hang on. When you're a goalie, if you trust your centers and you know that you're good on the dot as a team, you don't mind holding on to those, especially late in the period. The last thing you want to do is give a set piece type play to a good offensive team that wins draws. But if you trust your centers, then you don't mind holding on here and starting from scratch versus starting off a scramble. And Kelly Panic, one of the best right there. We saw it wins the D zone faceoff. Alternate captain for this Minnesota squad and one of their signed free agents off the hop. Levy now hangs on with 19.7 ticks on the clock. New York probably just going to try to survive this final bit and head into the dressing room one nothing. Levy's been good, good the first period. She made some big saves. Played her college hockey at Boston College. Was a transfer from Mankato, Minnesota State. That was real good for the Eagles. Defensive zone faceoff win for New York. Bourbonnet chips it off the glass and ahead. Now Bookbinder hustles up to it. Pulls a reverse for Steckline. Here comes Coyne Schofield. One final push across. And what a save for Levy at the buzzer. That was so close 
to be in a 2 0 game right there, and it was Grace Zumwinkle, one of the hottest sticks in the game. This is an NHL pass right here. Look at this thing. Wham! She snaps it, and great job by Levy to move over. Knowing that Zumwinkle was on her wing, there was only so many places the puck could go. So Levy, with a great slide across, took away the middle of the net and forced to the short side, which is probably where Zumwinkle wanted to put it. Welcome back to Total Mortgage Arena, where Minnesota strikes first with a 1-0 lead. We're joined now by Britton Fleming, who scored her first goal of the season yesterday. And now Abby Cook gets it started for you here today with her first. What'd you like about your first period so far? Yeah, I think we came out faster than yesterday. Uh, I know our coaches kind of instilled that in us. It was a little slow yesterday, so we just needed to come out faster, and it would come. With the with a back to back game, how important was it to not let New York set the pace early because you guys did a really good job of maintaining pace and creating some good offensive chances. Yeah, like I said, yesterday was slow. We knew we had to come out a little bit faster today and I think as soon as we start getting rolling, um, it's hard to kind of shut us down. Taylor Heisey carries in now for Minnesota. Second period underway as Zumwinkle has it taken away by Eldridge. Now Eldridge with a stretch pass to Alex Carpenter. Carpenter's three-game point streak was snapped. Now she takes a shot and it's gobbled up by Hensley. Carpenter's been one of the hottest players in the game since night one. Watch what she does here. This is how you take it. A situation where you don't have numbers and create numbers. Lateral agility. Buy space and time by going east-west to allow the attack to develop. So instead of trying to beat somebody one-on-one, one-on-three, -on -one, one -on Eldridge with a shot that caromed off something and went wide. Bourbonnet holds it in. Sorted by Bookbinder. She hands it off for Lee Steckline. Steckline trying to stretch the ice. That goes wide, and it's nicing. Offensive zone faceoff win for New York. Chloe Arard tried to feed it through traffic. Minnesota comes away with the puck. Taylor Heisey carries in down the far side. Off her backhand, goes around the net, and leaves her Zumwinkle. Heisey back on her feet after taking quite the check. And now Arard takes it away. Arard has Elizabeth Jaguer with her, goes cross ice, and run with a blast. Glove save, Hensley puts still loose. And Coyne Schofield comes away with it. Great chance for New York. Ella Shelton trying to turn it up immediately. She leads the play. Shelton falls to the ice and Minnesota comes away with the puck. Coyne Schofield going across for Panic. They play catch. Back to Panic. Panic. And great stick work by Kayla Vespa. Vespa coming away with it now. Emma Woods back to Vespa, in with speed. Looks for a lane and tried to connect and could not. It was Downey Landry on the doorstep. Downey Landry spins, falls down, and Puck ends up coming back to the point. Taylor Baker spins off a player and goes down low for Downey Landry. Downey Landry. Chips it up high, across for Zandy Hart. Zandy Hart with a pass through traffic. Glove down and saved by Hensley. That line center by Danny Landry with Bestman Woods, they can play for me any day. My goodness, <laughs> are they good. Good puck possession, make things happen. Love this play too, right off the rush. Wide, Rock comes in late, wide open, gets a good shot on goal. Abby Rock has been really good as the F3. Look at the attack as, as New York came down the left wing side, they drew the defense out, allowed Rock to have some space. She picked it up, delivered it to the net quick, and a really nice stop by Hensley. So then Tapani carrying in for New York. Tapani in the corner with Cunning. Cunning jamming away at it. Instead, it's New York, and Bourbonnet tries to turn it up quickly for Norcross. Couldn't connect. Icing waved off. Madison Packer plays it along the boards. Nearing the three-minute mark of this middle frame. You like how New York has jumped out so far? Uh, I like the fact that they have three rushes to their credit this period, and they've grabbed the line with possession and speed. 
on all three and managed to manufacture a chance out of two of them. Kaba with a great chance right in front. She fed it out to Liz Shepherds and she just couldn't beat Abby Levy. Here comes Eldridge. Eldridge stops up. Shepherds goes behind her own net. Another really good example of taking a situation without numbers and creating one. Here's Shepherds carrying in for Minnesota. Thinks about the shot, takes it. Rebound comes out, it's loose. And nobody there to bury the puck into the open net. Levy with a strong first save, but you're right, Dave, that rebound, rebound control or maybe lack thereof is something Minnesota's gonna try to expose. Jim Montgomery, now the coach of the Bruins, used to call that area in front of the net the third circle. And if you own the third circle offensively, especially with the goalie that gives him back, you tend to create a whole lot of goals and a whole lot of havoc. Another chance there as Krishova couldn't handle the pass. A top line buzzing for Minnesota. Heisey has Zumwinkle with her. Zumwinkle from behind the net feeds the point. An errant pass there goes all the way back to Nicole Hensley. Cut off by Chloe Arard. Arard, errant pass and Krishova will take over. Nearly five minutes gone on this second period. New York still looking for its first goal of the day as we get a whistle. And Craig Sumlingle doesn't like the offside call. Well, I think this is gonna get turned around on uh, the call here. They see the shot and the rebound comes out and Minnesota with a good opportunity on a second chance. The puck just eludes the goaltender, Levy. There was an offside that got called and you can see the referee, Jake Cameras, shaking his hands, kind of indicating that it was a deflected pass, and that's why this comes to center ice. Good defensive stick by Kelly Panic there to disrupt the pass for New York. Cameras, by the way, a real good player in his day at the University of Massachusetts Lowell. Said it before, I'll say it again. Starman, you're like the encyclopedia of hockey. <laughs> he was a good player to watch. Big, strong, scored some goals. Here's Brooke Hobson now for New York. Try to send it ahead. And Kendall Coyne Schofield will jump on the loose puck, tried to pass it, had it sticked aside by New York. Here's Downey Landry and Coyne Schofield delivers a check. She may be smaller in size, but what she lacks there, she makes up for in heart. Like a fire hydrant, she can't move her. Coyne Schofield. Of course, the uh, part of the NHL's fastest skater competition a few years ago at All-Star Weekend. Yes, NHL. And she was remarkable. An instrumental part of why we have a professional women's hockey league today. So many of these players, just great ambassadors for growing the game. And exploits like that really open up a lot of eyes. Savannah Norcross. And we get to see the rivalry series coming up in Minnesota. Britton Fleming, who we talked to at the break, just named to the U.S. roster for that rivalry series earlier this week. Congrats to her. Here's Ella Shelton, the star for Team Canada. Has it taken away briefly. Madison Packer will send it in and on goal for New York. Hensley calmly steers it aside. Micah Zandihart playing it ahead for New York, but it's cut off by Buderak. Here comes Minnesota. Buderak tried the center for DeGeorge. Now Shepherds back to Buderak. Pad save. Here's Zandihart. The New York captain playing in only her third game of the season and first at home. Talking to Howie Draper this week, he said she's meant so much to our team. Here's Krishova, tried to center, gets it back. Greco, across her high, a great chance in front for Zumwinkle, and she couldn't get all of it. That was a big break for New York. Zumwinkle doesn't miss on those chances. <laughs> Ella Shelton, across for Jamie Bourbonnet. She hands it over to Rock, back for Shelton. Bourbonnet goes down low for Alex Carpenter. Carpenter, trade spots, now Shelton. 
Puck is loose. And Abby Rock collects it back to the point for Shelton. Can't hold the zone and has to chase it down into the neutral zone. Ella Shelton ahead for Abby Rock as New York tries to get back in this game and tie it up. Alex Carpenter, beautiful pass across for Eldridge and she couldn't handle it. Bourbonnet thought about a shot, instead passes to Shelton. Now Eldridge, cross eyes for Rock. Good block by Lee Steckline. Eldridge off her backhand. And a clear by Steckline. Nice work by New York as they move it around. Bourbonnet really good on the power play. Hunts pots, hunts spaces, active, moving around. She creates a lot of options just by making the coverage, keep an eye on her, and making sure that the penalty kill switches are clean and crisp. Because if you lose her, she winds up real open. That top unit has been productive. Now it's kind of a mishmash out there as Downey Landry has joined Emma Woods. Shorthanded chance for Coyne Schofield. Stops up. Feeds Heisey. Heisey lost the puck to Emma Woods. And Minnesota goes for a change. Here's Woods. Rings it around the boards for Downey Landry. Back up top for Hobson. Hobson across for Zandy Hart. Zandy Hart with a chance that just deflected wide. Another clear for Minnesota as we have just 10 seconds to go on the power play. Real good pursuit. Great neutral zone by Minnesota here. Jaguer takes the shot gloved and held by Hensley. Kelly Panic feeds it across for Cook. Power play over. And Levy will hand it off to her teammate. LaBelle goes back to Baker, has it taken away. And Minnesota with a chance right in front. You know, Dave, every time I look up, it seems like number 26 in white is always in front of the net. That's the captain, Kendall Coyne Schofield, who just scored the game tying goal yesterday in Boston to force overtime. Yeah, she, she's distributed the puck incredibly well tonight. She's one of those players, she's a true pro. She understands about making a play and then becoming a secondary play. Move a puck, get to the front of the net. Move a puck, get to an open space. And we, we've referenced winning habits. Like, there's a winning habit. Don't stand around and admire your work. Go find another play to make. Alex Carpenter trying to make something happen for New York. Rings it around the boards for Eldridge. And Krishova will come away with the puck. Here comes Krishova. And she has it taken away. Back and forth they go. Zumwinkle sends it in and goes for a change. And you know, back to Coyne Schofield, when we talked to Coach Klee, he said she, she wants to be coached hard just as much as any player. She's done just about everything, but she doesn't want to just be a passive participant. She wants him to tell her how to be better night in and night out. That's what, I think that's what the great players want, is they want to plan for their coaching staff on what's going to make them better. Dan Bileson once said to me, when he was coaching the Pittsburgh Penguins, that's all Sidney Crosby wanted. It was, how are you going to make me better today? Flaherty across. Cunning in the slot. Now Kava catches up to it and goes back to Cunning. Cunning from behind the goal line, tried the sharp angle shot, and it was sealed off. Cunning gets it back. Now tries again, and just off the side. Here's Kava. Flaherty, a blast that just goes wide. This is looking like a power play for Minnesota. Long change here for New York. Flaherty slings it across, and a shot that's gloved and held. Melissa Channel with the drive. New York's coach, Howie Draper, joins us. Coach, good rush offense this period by your team. You're gaining possession and gaining the line. Yeah, things are starting to move forward for us. That's important. I think we're supporting the puck well, and we're moving it quickly, so that's creating some uh, opportunities up ice. Good luck the rest of the way. Thanks, guys. Courts Draper would love to see his team tie this up here, and a good chance again for Minnesota. Here comes Jaguer carrying through. Gets around Lee Steckline and Chloe Arard with her. Taken away by Sheppers. Cut off by Abby Rock. Abby Rock tried to go to the point and does. Now a blast had to be stopped by Hensley. 
Hensley has looked so sharp here so far today. Stopped all 17 shots she's faced to this point. Abby Rock catches up to it. Looks for help. Tries a spin move that's sealed off by Hensley. Sweet play by Abby Rock. But watch what happens. You want to get a game turned around a little bit against the best defenseman in the league, potentially in stack line. Put pucks behind her and then go chase and create races and bumping and grinding and cycling and forechecking. I mean, that's a great dump in by New York. They put in a great spot to get to it. Minnesota couldn't get out, and New York was able to manufacture a chance out of it. When you're playing against high-end defensemen, get them to turn and go chase pucks. Nobody wants their face in the windshield. Here's Zumwinkle, goes to high Z and sorted nicely by Hobson. She delivers a check on high Z. Lengthy battle along the boards. Four players trying to sort it out. Downey Landry comes away with it, and Emma Woods with her. Here's Vespa. That's the line you highlighted earlier, Dave. They've been buzzing all afternoon. Good, good speed. She's above, I just love the way she plays Vespa, 10 and green, just active all over the ice. Zumwinkle stops up, goes to Heisey, try to feed it back for Zumwinkle. Jamie Bourbonnet comes away with it. Now Vespa makes a nifty little move. Center for Woods. Woods with a shot that goes wide. Jesse Eldridge banged along the board by Channel, and Minnesota comes away with it. There's Abby Boreen fighting for possession. Kelly Panic tried the short side, and it was gloved and held by Levy. We're back to hockey here, where it's been a great game, tightly contested throughout. Both teams trying to bounce back after losses their last time out. And despite the fact that it's felt like Minnesota has had the ice start to tilt in its favor, it's still a one nothing lead. That's it. And one of the reasons is, first of all, they've gotten real good goaltending. Here's Kava. Kava working it alone and a pad save from Levy. Case in point. And New York has generally been a little bit more responsible with the puck than they were just there. But New York has moved pucks up ice. They've moved pucks in, whether on possession or on a chip in. And they've stayed above pucks, not letting Minnesota get out with numbers or speed. Eldridge just slung that puck toward the net while she was falling to her knees. Gets it back, and Eldridge now from below the goal line. Tried to center, blocked by Tapani. Great chance for Carpenter, goes just wide. Ella Shelton back on the ice for, for New York. New York looking for its first goal since January 20th as they were shut out on Friday in Toronto. Well, New York's gotten some good chances, but here they got a little sloppy with the puck. If you're gonna hit, you better snap that pass or things like this happen. And Levy was really good at getting the wickets closed, getting the stick down. Real good positioning, a big goalie with good athleticism. She was in a great spot to make that save. But like I said, if you're gonna hinge a puck, one touching is not a good not a good idea. Jamie Bourbonnet gets the pass. And now here comes Minnesota once more. Buderak up ahead for Fleming. Downey Landry takes it away. Hands it off to Bourbonnet. That Vespa line back on the ice. Howie Draper rewarding their play today with some heavy minutes. And their minutes are mattering. Comes back to the New York end. Face-off win for Minnesota. Here's a drive for Bookbinder. Gloved and held. And we've got some rough stuff happening. Zumwinkle getting into it with Hobson. Yeah, Hobson's been tough today. Two-time captain at Northeastern. And she plays with a lot of grit in her game. And Zumwinkle is no wallflower either. As you can see, she was trying to get to the net. And Hobson's making sure that doesn't happen. Bookbinder sends it down low for Minnesota. Chased down by Zandy Hart, who slings it across. Now Zumwinkle trying to set things up for Minnesota. Here's Heisey. Into the skates of Krishova. Now Minnesota. Trying to get possession once more. They'll do so. 
Just over three minutes to go here in the second period. No score in the middle frame so far. It was Abby Cook striking late in the first, and her goal is the difference. Now a great chance for New York. Chloe Arard has Eldridge with her to Carpenter. Back to Eldridge. Somehow the puck stays out. A three on one. Let's get another look at this. I think we got a penalty coming. As Camaras is pointing towards the box, it looks like the New York side of the penalty till is open. And an interference call is coming. And I, that's actually, no, it's going to be on step line of Minnesota, wrong door open. New York with a really good read and a jump of the route. Coming out of three on one, which you always want to finish with a shot. And they try to get real pretty here. Nice looking play. Maybe one pass too many, and Steckline comes back to break it up. And that's where the penalty gets taken. If you're Howie Draper, you'd probably like to see your team shoot, right? A little too much passing, trying to be too pretty with it. I mean, everybody was open, so the thought of moving the puck, but the players have to know, because these are veteran players, players have to know, you get into a grade A on an odd man or an odd person rush, Soon as you're in the great A zone, get the puck to the net and let your wingers go crash. Ella Shelton cuts off the clearing attempt by Minnesota. Third power play of the afternoon for New York. See if they can cash in here and tie this game at one. And this is an important penalty killer in the box for Minnesota and Steckline, who's among the best defensemen in the world. Yes. Carpenter hands it off to Shelton. Shelton, they play catch, and Eldridge tried to center for Rock. She was tied up. Now Bourbonnet, back to Shelton. Shelton, back to Bourbonnet. Cross for Carpenter, and a nice save by Hensley. Carpenter gets it back to the point. Ella Shelton with a drive, sorted out by Cook, and she clears it. Shelton a little off balance there, threw the puck into the skates of the defender instead of potentially moving it down low. And New York has got to come back and change. It's been another really good power play for 14 and Green Bourbon, who continues to impress on a ship by ship basis. Eldridge tried to send it in. Cut off by Channel. Penalty killers doing a good job for Minnesota. Almost too many men on New York, Woo. or too many players on New York. That was close. Very close. It's Downey Landry. Rings it around the board. Second unit now on for New York. Jaguer, little miscommunication with Hobson, and Woods has to chase it down. Now Zandy Hart will send it in for New York. Hensley out to play it calmly. Off the glass and held in by Woods. Slings it across to Zandy Hart. Downey Landry. Back to Zandy Hart. Downey Landry. Tried to go down low. Back for Woods. Downey Landry. Here's Emma Woods. Down low for Jaguer. Jaguer tried the shot. Rebound loose. No whistle. But they say it stayed out. And now we've got tempers flaring everywhere, Dave. It was clear that the whistle was blown before the puck went in. There's no doubt. Because we heard it from up here. So that, that ends that little piece of drama. But what happens next here? We'll see how these penalties sort out. Okay, so you heard the whistle, there's no doubt about it. Then you see the, the business that starts shortly after. Take another look at it. It was a good save in front of the net. And then you see the puck starts moving around loose. Wow. There it is, official word. No goal, a tough break for New York. And Downey Landry and Flaherty wind up with coincidental minors, so we play four on four. And the puck flips right up into the air, settled down by Zumwinkle. No, I won't say this for sure, but they also could have been looking at a potential penalty uh, for a major with the grabbing of the face mask. Ah. So here we go. Some of the top players in the game, and oh, another penalty coming here. Carpenter tripped up. It's interesting, Carpenter and Paddock were actually talking to each other while this whole discussion in the penalty box was going on. They were carrying on a whole chit-chat. 
And now Panic takes down Carpenter as Carpenter really uses her speed well. And Panic upset. I mean, that is a trip. Here's the thing, Panic's gonna say, my stick never got into her skates, my stick never hooked onto the legs, but the, when you put the stick across to impede the progress of the player from a defensive standpoint, you're, the referee's hand is halfway up to start with. Without, when you leave the stick there, it's all over. So another power play opportunity now for New York. Four on three. Abby Rock up for Bourbonnais. Back to Rock. Rock trying to go cross ice to Shelton. Two good one-timers on the flanks here. Bourbonnais back to Rock. Rock looking for a lane. Tried it. Blocked by Bookbinder. Puck comes all the way into the other end. And the horn will sound. We've got a minute and 13 seconds that New York will have on the power play when the third period begins. What a finish to this period. The puck is down and the third period is underway. Alex Carpenter will carry in down the left side for New York. Spins off and Ella Shelton takes over at the point. Hands it off to Zandy Hart. It goes over to Rock. Rock down low for Carpenter. Carpenter back to Shelton on the dot. Zandy Hart to Shelton. One timer. She scores. Top shelf beauty for Ella Shelton, and we're tied at one. Well, we reference the off-wingers, the flankers between periods and how effective they can be. And Shelton has been really good in that spot, just unloads. The play back to Shelton is really what makes this happen. If you go around the horn, everybody gets a chance to reset and establish structure. Shelton moves it up, gets it right back. Tremendous look off up top. And then she blows it over the shoulder of Hensley. Great return pass to Shelton off the initial feed, and she just drove it. Great play by New York off of a one face-off in the neutral zone where they never lost possession. Carpenter wins the draw once more. Back for Bourbonnais. Well, similar for Eldridge in for Rock. Yes. And Bourbonnais on the ice for Zandy Hart. Here comes Eldridge. Had it taken away by Coyne Schofield, and it's a two-on-one if they hurry. Coyne Schofield sends it across her high as the offer backhand stopped by Levy. Lots of open ice out there for some of these superstar players. Alex Carpenter gets dumped. Taylor Heisey takes over. Two on two. Heisey weaving in, has Coyne Schofield with her. Coyne Schofield. Throws a shot just wide of the net, and Abby Rock will take over. It's a good little chip to the side of the net because it's on the goalie's backhand, so they won't use their stick as much. On the forehand, you can play that easier. Abby Rock, Zandy Hart with her, and it just sails through the middle of the ice. Minnesota collects as Abby Cook tries to turn it up. Kelly Panic, freshly out of the box, will hand it off to Greco. We've got ourselves a game. New York on the board for the first time since the third period on January 20th. They were shut out on Friday night in Toronto. Kelly Panic back in for Minnesota. Lisa Zumwinkle and fought off nicely by Levy. Zumwinkle gathers it back. Sends it down low. Panic. Lost track of it. Abby Rock now. And Chloe Arard tries to chip it free. Taken away by Boreen. Here comes Boreen. Dumps it into the corner. And she'll go for a change. Brooke Hobson takes over. Young players should notice that. Chipped the puck in, away from the bench side, went for a change. Was tired, was at the end of a shift. Didn't try to force anything just because there was offense being played, and that is really good hockey maturity. Great point. Ola Vespa catches up to it momentarily. And back comes Sophia Cunning. The battle between Steckline and Vespa. A Steckline across her bookbinder. 
In the skates of Cunning. Cunning receives a check. Vespa stops up. Abby Cook scored late in the first period for Minnesota, and both goalies held firm until moments ago when Ella Shelton tied the game on the power play. D zone face off win for Jamie Bourbonnet and New York. Here's Vespa. Chips it ahead. Chased down by Abby Cook. Abby Cook over to Greco. Now back for Cook. Cook tried the stretch pass, cut off by Downey Landry. Downey Landry tried the shot that went off the glass. A tightly contested day here at Total Mortgage Arena. Both teams looking to bounce back after losses their last time out. LaBelle gets the puck free. Norcross joins her. And here's another chance. LaBelle had a shot right in front of Hensley, and Hensley sealed it off. Bourbonnet skating in for New York. LaBelle tried another one off her backhand, and Hensley says no. This is where the fatigue factor could start to creep in for the team that just played yesterday. Abby Levy fights off a loose puck. And Zumwinkle now from behind the net. She feeds the point. Flaherty across for Channel. Channel with a drive that goes wide. Could you tell that her dad used to run a great shooting school in Livonia, <laughs> Minnesota? That's her Craig Channel. On one timers? Yeah. Craig Channel, who used to be a scout in Washington where I first met him, he's now with the Rangers, but he and Mike Donnelly, who was quite the scorer in his NCAA and NHL days, the two of them ran power shot shooting school in Livonia, Michigan for years. And she obviously is the huge beneficiary of that. Melissa Channel playing her college days at Wisconsin. She was actually claimed off waivers, drafted initially by Toronto. Now a big part of this decor for Minnesota. Minnesota sends it in and Levy behind her own net to play it. Hands it off calmly to Bourbonnet. Right back in is Minnesota as Greco sends it. Nearly six minutes gone in the final frame. Kendall Coyne Schofield down the left side, takes the shot, and it's saved by Levy. There have been a couple of times in the course of the game where teams have thrown passes between the dots in the neutral zone, which has turned around quickly. And you can see that Coyne Schofield was sitting there waiting to jump that route. For both teams, I think they should be real careful in terms of A, the long distance pass, and B, where they're moving it because those passes through the guts are ones that turn around on you pretty quickly. Susanna Tapani on the ice. Had her pass go through Abby Cook's stick and all the way down into the Minnesota zone. Emma Woods trying to dig out the puck. Abby Cook gets it. Turns it up for Cunning. Here's Sophia Cunning. Carrying in with speed, top to Pani. Trying to catch up to it. Now Kava from behind the net. Flaherty able to hold the zone. Over to Kava, to Pani. Back for Flaherty. Flaherty takes a shot that just went wide. And Abby Levy has to be heads up on the rebound. See if Minnesota can take advantage here. Important faceoff one by New York. Here comes Alex Carpenter, Jesse Eldridge, over to Carpenter. Carpenter off her back end, beautiful feed for Levis, and she's taken down on the way. We're going to get a penalty. Delay penalty as the extra attacker comes on the ice for New York. Shepard's check, she tracked back well. A little too well at the end. <laughs> Abby Rock, the extra attacker now for New York. Ella Shelton stops up, looks for a lane. Feeds it over to Bourbonnet, now to Rock. Rock tried to center for Jaguar. Bounces over to Shelton. Shelton to Bourbonnet. Down low for Carpenter. Still the delayed penalty. Shelton up to the top for Bourbonnet and a great block by Zumwinkle. If you're wondering why the whistle hasn't blown, 
it's blown on possession. So if you block a shot or tip a pass, that's not considered possession. You got to actually have it to the point where you can do something with it. Then the whistle will blow. Extended time on what basically is a power play already for New York. Abby Rock lost it in her skates, gets it back, and now the whistle blows. Good track back by Minnesota. They got numbers evened up, and you'll see it right in the front of the net. A little bit of a pull, and that breaks up the play. New York on a really good rush. They split the D and they get to the front of the net to create a chance, and speed will always cause penalties, especially when you're on top of the crease in the hard areas. New York breaking through on the power play. Just a few minutes ago, it was Ellis Shelton with the drive. Bourbonnet back to Shelton once more. Abby Rock from the left circle goes down low for Eldridge, right in front of Carpenter, and Hensley with a save. Another chance. Ella Shelton goes across her Bourbonnet, thought about a shot, goes down low for Carpenter. Carpenter over to Rock. Back for Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet, a chance, it was deflected by Eldridge, but up and onto the stick of Carpenter. Carpenter. Across for Bourbonnet, they trade places with Ellis Shelton now back on the right side. Bourbonnet and Shelton trade once more. Abby Rock for Shelton, back to Rock, top of the slot, down low. Carpenter with a chance. Good PK for Minnesota. Really nice job by New York. They were trying to get Zumwinkle, 13 and white, isolated up top to make a wrong read and open up high area, which they finally did. Really nice. Discipline work by New York up top above the circles with possession. Half of the penalty is already killed off. New York trying to set up once more with the second unit now on the ice. Hobson, Zambi Hart rather, over to Downey Landry who rings it around the boards. And Bookbinder tried to clear it. Cut off and now a battle along the boards. Elizabeth Jaguer. Looking for help behind her. Trying to fight off Bookbinder. Precious seconds ticking away on the New York power play. Emma Woods will sling it across for Zandy Hart. Zandy Hart. And Hobson had it skip over her stick. Penalty over as Liz Shepherds. Skates back to the bench for Minnesota. We're back to full strength. A good communication between Zandy Hart and Woods as the players coming out of the penalty box. Shepherds talking to each other about, hey, watch for a late fly pass. Somebody's behind us. Yes. So now New York one for five on the power play today. Madison Packer tried to connect with Woods. Instead, it's Sophia Cunning taking it away from Minnesota. She's taken down, two players toppling over, and Cabo with a chance right in front. Still the puck is loose, and they finally blow it dead. Cabo wants an explanation. And she's old one, because that thing was loose. New York wins the D-zone draw. It was set up nice, though. <laughs> it sure was, <laughs> Dave. Was there. Sometimes it doesn't play out. That's right. Alex Carpenter slings it across her Levis. Her shot blocked on the way. Now Kaba fights through a check. Ella Shelton brings it around the board to Carpenter. Cut off by Minnesota. Back behind the net. Kaba up top for Steckline. Steckline tries to send it on net. It goes off the board instead. Jesse Eldridge plays it ahead for New York. Icing waved off. Lee Steckline turns it up for Fleming. Fleming tries to make a move. Good defense by Bourbonnet. Back to the point for Greco. Greco. Now Abby Rock tried to clear it. The puck does come out to neutral ice. And New York collects. Just past the 12 minute mark of this third period. We've got a tie game as Abby Rock carries in for New York. Stops up, feeds Jaguar. Here comes Minnesota now. 
Claire Buderak decides to send it in and go for a change. New York is getting really good layers on their rush. They're getting possession, and they're getting on the third wheel. Here's a chance, a brilliant opportunity right in front, and Abby Boreen was denied by Levy. This is where you wonder if that fatigue factor may creep in. Boreen, again, her shot blocked in front. Tell you what, Minnesota's been really opportunistic. They've picked off a lot of passes, which has helped them shrink the rink. Not a chance. Go, yeah, not have to go 200 feet. They've got a lot of women on their team that can strike quickly. Melissa Channel with speed. Just did almost a full lap around the ice. Still has it. Tried to set her in front, throws it off the back of the net. Yeah, the shooting she might have gotten from Dad. The skating, that's all her. He didn't nice. skate that way. <laughs> a sharp shot from the blue line from Emma Woods. Hensley hangs on. Good chance by Minnesota on a little quick strike. It's another pass through the middle that New York makes that gets picked off by Minnesota. It's got to be five or six at this point. And this one happened in a great A scoring chance. And if you're New York, puck management becomes a huge component to not allowing Minnesota to quick strike here. Abby Levy had to be sharp on that one as she has many times today. Right now, 23 saves for the New York goaltender. If you're going to make a team go 200 feet and go through you, that's one thing. But don't let them shrink the rink on you and create a 15-foot forecheck. Kroshova with a shot that goes through traffic. Collected by Heisey. And the number one overall pick in this year's draft. Goes for a lap. She takes a shot, but is loose in front. Abby Levy squeezes the pass, and it stays out. And tempers flare behind the net. She was just looking for a lane to get the puck through. She had Greco going to the net. The beauty of this shot was is that as she's going to her right, she put the puck towards her left. So it's to the opposite side of the goalie. So once Levy gets set, she's not going to go back to her opposite side to make the save. Puts it off the blocker, which creates that rebound. And Minnesota can then go to work. Really, really nice hockey IQ. New rivalries forming each and every game. Which, Dave, is so interesting since so many of these women in this league have represented either Team Canada or Team USA for so long, and those are great rivalries. Plus, you get the players that have played against each other at the NCAA level. Ella Shelton's drive goes just wide. Kava collects. The Badgers and Gophers alums oh, yes. have seen a ton of each other in the WCHA. As they've alternated national titles for a while. So many years. Clarkson's had a couple in there as well, but Minnesota, Wisconsin are very successful in that area. Plenty of national championships won by the ladies on the ice here today. Coins Schofield in all alone, and she just cannot bury it past Levy. Fantastic opportunity for the Minnesota captain. Kelly Panic now in front. Coins Schofield again, and Bookbinder's shot is gloved and held. Coin Schofield down right in front of the crease. Taylor Baker. <laughs> That's who it was. It's been a long afternoon. And a great one as Zumwinkle sends one that had to be kicked out by Levy. Is it getting old great? <laughs> so I can't remember where I put my keys and I only got here three hours ago. <laughs> we play on tied at one. This league has offered competitive games night in and night out. Coin Schofield with a pass to Bookbinder had it taken away by Zandy Hart. Yeah, through something on Twitter earlier this week that the nine of 18 games were all finished 3 2. Wow. There were two other games that were one goal game. So 11 of 18 earlier this week were all decided by one goal. When and you've got two that. More yesterday, both yeah. going to overtime. When you've got that, you've got a highly entertaining competitive product. Here's Hobson trying to hold the zone for New York and does. Carpenter goes up high for Rock, a blast! That somehow is gloved by Hensley. What a shot by Abby Rock. Off to a great start, and in this sprint of a season with just 24 games, it's all about that good start. Channel feeds it over to her D partner, Flaherty. 
And back comes Minnesota to Pani. New York takes it away as Brooke Hobson will try to lead things up ice for New York. Here's Alex Carpenter. Lost an edge, got it back, and Jesse Eldridge picks it up. Back to Carpenter. Carpenter spins off Flaherty, no call. It was Carpenter who tracked back and took Tapani off the puck on the right wing side. And she should have had a pretty better chance to pay off her hard work in the offensive zone. She got pulled down. Chloe Arard battling for possession. Greco will kick it ahead for Cunning. Jamie Bourbonnet. As Elizabeth Jaguer now sends it up for Rock. Heavy hit along the boards. Abby Rock. Known for her grit. Lots of people have described her as a perfect mix of sandpaper and skill. That's it's a great way to describe it. And here comes Heisey. Her shot deflects wide. Follows it up with a chance and that right into the bread basket of, of Levy. Lee Steckline sends it down for Heisey, who might have something to say about that. As you referenced before, her dad is Jim Rock, who was the longtime coach at Lake Superior State University. He's now scouting at the NHL level. One of the really good people in our game. An old buddy. And has raised his daughter right. He used to have a backyard rink, as does everybody else, you know, north of here, and would freeze it, and Abby would go out and skate in the back. And then there was one time where Lake State was down at the GLI, and she was out skating with the team. She was with nine. Wow. And the guys are watching her fly around like, you know, this, this kid could be something. Here's Abby Barine. Tried to go back for Kelly Panic. Melissa Channel with a drive that goes wide. Maggie Flaherty. Flings it toward the crease off her backhand, sorted nicely by Shelton. Here comes Jesse Eldridge. And a good job by Channel to catch up to the play. Kelly Panic will collect for Minnesota. And right back they come. It's Boreen. Had it taken away by Downey Landry. Kelly Panic gloves it down. Abby Boreen, by the way, signing a 10-day contract. Panic thought about a shot. Here's Boreen right toward the net, takes it hard, but turned aside. Boreen, the Minnesota native. Able to sign that 10-day contract thanks to an injury to one of the regular players on Minnesota. It'll be quite the road trip if they can come away with a couple of points in two hard-fought road games. But we've still got 30 seconds to sort that out. Cut off by Carpenter. And Minnesota gets it right back. Here's Tapani. Goes across the ice to Kava. She lost it at the blue line. Carpenter sends it in for New York. Final 15 seconds. Turnover. The bookbinder able to clear the zone. Right back in comes Andy Hart. Carpenter a drive that just went wide. The horn sounds on period number three. And just like the first meeting of this season between these two, we're gonna need overtime to decide this one. What will we have today? Will we see a shootout? Possession's important here. And the initial drop's important. Now, if you're New York, you literally have the chance to control the puck for five minutes. Yep. It's Shelton, Carpenter, and Eldridge on the ice for New York. The key here is don't waste a look. If you don't have the look you like, this is what you're doing. You're regrouping. You're setting up again. Make a line change if you need to. But don't waste a shot to the net if it's not a really good chance and risk losing possession. Here's Carpenter. Tries to go across to Eldridge. The puck bouncing off her stick. Steckline sorts it nicely. Picked up by Heisey. Here's Zumwinkle. And now Minnesota takes over possession. Taylor Heisey. The first overall draft pick this year. Game on her stick, loses an edge. Kendall Coin Schofield with a drive that's gobbled up by Levy. Levy with a big rebound. So once again, face off become vital here. Tapani lining up with Rock. Rock wins it. Back to the captain. Peyton Levis on the ice now for New York. Levis 
waiting. Goes cross ice as Abby Rock has to hustle to catch up to the pass. Levis back to the point for Zandy Hart. Zandy Hart spins off a body and sends it over to Levis. Levis, some good stick work. Hands it off for Rock with a chance. Two New York players go to the ice and Tapani's coming away with it. Three on one, Tapani. Coin Schofield, back to Tapani. And saved by Levy. What a save for the New York goalie. Back comes Levis, game on her stick. Feeds it off for Rock, just in her skates. Across the shot, saved by Hensley. You got some tired bodies out there now. It's a long ship with a lot of ground covered. End to end action, and Bourbonnet couldn't catch up to the pass. Gets it back. Skates in hard. Bourbonnet off the iron. Emma Woods collects now for New York. Takes it behind the net, fighting off to Pani. Loses the puck, gets it back, and feeds Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet goes across. Downey Landry. Lost it momentarily, gets it back. Fighting off Coin Schofield, now back for Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet decides to take it out to the neutral zone to reset. And Minnesota dodges the ball because they get all three off. Fresh legs, but Downey Landry's in all alone. Takes a shot, saved by Hensley. Now Minnesota, fresh legs. Kelly Panic with a streaking Abby Barine. Panic, a shot, fought off by Levy. Back to Bookbinder. Great stick by Downey Landry. She's in all alone. Hensley out to play it. And Hensley came all the way out to play it. Barine hands off for Panic. Panic, shoot, pass Avery on the score! Abby Barine making the most of her opportunity, wins it in overtime for Minnesota. What an incredible overtime. This was really entertaining. Both teams with tremendous chances. Goaltenders were great. And Minnesota finishes it. Look at this little toe drag. Whoop. Good shot and great follow to the net. And Minnesota wins it. Great play here to pull the string. Great follow to the net. Both teams had just made a change. So there were fresh bodies out there and you could see the jump. And Minnesota comes away with a huge win. Levy was great in this game, and that actually might have deflected before it went in the net. Wow, what a game.